Hello again dear friends, uh, maybe this time uh, you're wondering why I have a uh, bowl of water in front of me. <laughs> yes, the answer is simple. Uh, I want to test and show you the waterproof case, the so-called 60 meter version, which you can recognize easily by this uh, red ceiling and this uh, ring with, with screws on top apart from the other version and uh, basically I want to I wanna put it in the water and see how it will behave regarding water tightness. So uh, as a first impression I can, uh, I can say that uh, it feels pretty, pretty well uh, built. Uh, it feels pretty tight so the, the, the back door closes uh, very very nicely on the body the the buttons are pressed uh, easily so i don't need to push hard uh, it has this locking uh, mechanism as you can see so first you need to push this way up and then to the right so I just push it up and then uh, it goes to the right just be careful that uh, these hinges here uh, if you're not careful you can uh, lose it so this is one of the bad things, let's say, I would have preferred to have this one in one piece so there would be no risk of detaching and losing it. So this is the inside compartment, uh, the, the surface looks pretty well machined. I've seen various drop tests, but uh, the way I see this uh, plastic, I would really not uh, dare throwing my, my camera on the ground like other uh, other uh, YouTube uh, uh, reviewers did with their cameras. So just let me put this one back in, so you can see how uh, it closes on the actual camera. Okay, let's see. Sorry for the the buzzing on the on the on the focus on my lens. It's because of the low light. Uh, Okay, so this is the camera, as you can see it fits quite easily, it has a small foam pad here which keeps it uh, nice together so there is no uh, chance of movement. And now it's closed, this is how it looks, no noise, so it's really good. The waterproof case holds also this uh, GoPro like style. Uh, attachment uh, option like you can see here uh, you can uh, unscrew this and attach it on a selfie stick if you have no problem okay let me just uh, turn on the camera it's really uh, easy operation so you don't need uh, much effort at all you can see through it uh, you can push the the shutter button whatever so it it's really really uh, good working so far the wireless also it's working really easy the the ceiling looks looks to be well done so uh, I have nothing else to compare it with but uh, with the naked eye it looks to be to be quite uh, decent uh, normally this should be the best uh, regarding depth because this is like I said the 60 meter version so normally it should go to the the biggest depth, of course not 60 meter, but anyway should be able to go a few maybe a few meters uh, for scuba diving and such. Okay, I'll just turn it off. To be honest with you guys, I didn't uh, test it so far, so I don't want to put the the camera inside at this moment. So uh, I I will emerge the case in water. But uh, I will put uh, some napkin and of course if there is any kind of uh, water leakage normally this should be visible on the, on the napkin. Just make me, let me put it nicely there and uh, let me close it. Okay, so now I'll just emerge it under water. Okay, I will not keep it one hour and such in the water, but uh, I will just keep it uh, completely emerged and try to push 
all the buttons several times this would be the on off this would be the shutter and on the side should be the Wi-Fi okay some bubbles getting out I hope it's not from inside okay repeatedly let's try to okay you've seen the bubbles I hope again it's not from inside maybe just from outside okay on the back you can see through the water so uh, there doesn't seem to be any kind of leakage inside so this is completely immersed okay it's maybe one and a half centimeter half an inch inside water so let me push buttons again okay from this side I have access only to Wi-Fi connection and the shutter let me turn it again facing up normally this one you know you press only one time when you turn the camera and maybe when you change from photo to video but normally the the button that would have the most difficult lifetime would be the the shutter here okay it's still floating which is good let me just uh, take the case out and clean it with a towel also wipe my hands because I don't want to touch with my wet hands somewhere inside and then think that the case is leaking or something so I'll remove the, the bowl with water and just cleaning it quite closely and well okay also the table okay let's open it now and uh, check the towel okay something really strange okay sorry <laughs> wrong way to open it okay there's a little bit of water here but this is from the mechanism so it's from the latch let's open it and check the towel okay here's a small stain but uh, I will have to confirm it if it's from the inside the case or I touch by mistake now the case is uh, completely dry inside so it's not from the case as you can see in this angle the shining will show but it is not from the case I touch it uh, by mistake so uh, it is yeah it is watertight so I can uh, put the camera inside and in the water with no uh, worry that uh, it will be damage and uh, leak water inside so uh, let's do this test again this time with the camera in now that I know it doesn't leak of course you've seen it yeah the button works no problem switch to video So, so far no problem uh, before uh, I made some uh, some picture test to see if I have any kind of igniting from the edges of the of the lens but uh, there was nothing inside also I put it uh, I made some pictures and video on the white background the results were good I could not see any any strange uh, black uh, areas in the in the video or in the picture so 
looks good I can only recommend it so far uh, after more usage I will I will put uh, maybe an update if there is gonna be any kind of problem on the bottom of the video if you have any questions please feel free to ask so so far from the many many uh, type of cases available I would say this one the so-called 60 meter case it's it's worth the money okay thanks for watching and uh, see you next time bye bye